This is going to be the shirt I wear every month for the games I beat videos. So everybody, the uh, next month is down and in the books, and I'm going to tell you all the games that I beat. We're going to start off with the first game, and that is a puzzle game. Not sure how to say it, so I'm just going to put it up on the screen, and then if somebody wants to help me pronounce it in the comments, you can please. Uh, this is a puzzle game. Literally, it is a game where you move puzzle pieces around, and you try to figure out what's the connection, what you move, what's going to happen. Uh, it took me a couple times to figure out certain things. After I figured it out, then it kind of became a breeze. Because it's like you pick up a piece, you move a piece of that, you move another piece over there, and like there are pieces on top of each other. And then once you figure out the sequence of what you need to put in what area, then you have to figure out colors. And it's really beautiful. I love it. There's a theme of like, there's a little boy. You have to keep him moving throughout this little segment. So you have to build him like a little bridge everywhere you go. And then you have like other characters that are there in the scene. Don't really know who they are. Could be family members, could be historical figures. I have no idea, but it's really beautiful. I do recommend it. I don't know if it's going to be on Game Pass for long. So if you find it, please try it out. It's worth your time. The second game I beat on the list is A Memoir Blue. This is a game that is basically interactive. It's kind of like a point and click where you are moving the young woman around and you're reliving her life. You are seeing that she was a swimmer, her mom worked a lot of jobs, and she was basically remembering everything and you get a sense that she's not talking to her mother but you find out that it's because of different things and then she's like seeing it through a new lens basically. She's seeing that her mom did work a lot so that's why she was not there all the time and so she's kind of like realizing I should be nicer to my mom, maybe I should accept that because she wasn't there for my swim meets or for whatever reason, she was really working and she was there in spirit so I should cut her some slack. And it's a beautiful story, I definitely recommend it. Um, I'm not sure how long it, it is because I played it and I kind of figured it out right away so it might take you like three hours but definitely a, a game I recommend. That I played Gears 5, it's a good game. Uh, if you never played Gears of War, or Gears now is what they're calling it, it's basically you have a young man who is Marcus's son, then you have two other characters that you've met, and I don't remember when they showed up in this show, um, might have been Judgment Day, I think Judgment is what it's called, but uh, you got Cat, and you are trying to figure out how to beat the machines and all the creatures that are there. It's normal Gears of War, basically. You shoot them, it's a first person shooter, and you are trying, well, third person shooter, basically. And you're going around and trying to get everything. Um, the one thing is, I will say, uh, there's some moments in Gears of War that you're gonna be like, what the hell, I can't figure this shit out. And it's basically gonna be like that throughout the whole game. <laughs> You'll be like, Tomb Raider, you're gonna go. Ah, so that's what I had to do. And it's always something stupid and very easy to find. And then you're like, I should have done that. Okay, cool. Boss is the same thing. You got to find their hitbox. Got to find whatever you're going to do. And then you're done. So recommend Gears 5. I liked it. Uh, the only thing that was a little eh was the ending. So it's not a 10 out of 10, but it's definitely like a solid 7 or 8 for sure. So after that, I beat Resident Evil 2, the remake. Um, this one is a really good game. It's pretty much you are <laughs> uh, Claire and Leon and you're finding out that six months after the mansion incident you are stuck in a city and you're trying to get out of it. Um, the only thing that I have that's an issue is they don't really talk to each other throughout the whole game. Uh, I played Claire A and Leon B and not once after you see them in the initial beginning do they talk to each other? Like, there's notes hidden throughout the scenes, um, if you find the notes on the table, but not very many people are gonna read the notes. I mean, I found a couple notes and I'm like, oh, it's Claire! Okay, so she's telling me something. Cool. But other than that, I did not pay attention to that. I was like, well, hell, if I'm not paying attention, how many other people were not paying attention? Because in the original game, for those who don't know, Claire and Leon meet up in the police station at one time, and you find them, and they go, oh, hey, let's, let's uh, help each other out. So there's moments where they keep meeting up 
they get radios to each other and then they'll be like, I'm gonna go find some people, let's see if we can get everybody out of here. And then after that, then somebody will radio somebody else and say, hey, I got a way out, let's go here. And then they'll get a way out and they'll go out and they'll get around and then they help each other. He'll be like, um, oh, can you help me do this, Claire? And she'll be like, sure. And then Claire will see him somewhere in a different area. I'll be like, hey, can you get the little girl? Go take her over here. And he'll be like, sure, gotcha. So there's moments that they have changed the narrative throughout the time. And this one was kind of a little disappointing on that end. But it's a solid remake. A lot better than the Resident Evil 3. I definitely recommend it. And don't play Resident Evil 3 unless you're just wanting a run and gun, fast, easy game. This one's going to take you a little bit of time. Uh, you have to play A and B or Leon A, Claire B, whatever you want to do, but I recommend it. And please get the original soundtrack. <sighs> Pay the DLC, which is sad, but get the DLC for the soundtrack because the original soundtrack, badass. The B for Leon, oh, that bass line gets you every time. Next on the list was called a little indie game called Immersed, Merged. I'm not sure exactly if I'm saying it correctly. But basically, you're a little fish, and it's a puzzle game. You have to get the fish from point A to point B, and it's pretty much um, where you have a little fish in like a little bucket. And then you have to like hop the fish into another part of the water source, another water source, down a pipe, into this. And the main objective is just get the little fish home. It's a very, very short game. So if you find it, it's free. Try it out. Um, the puzzles are a little challenging, but you will beat it within half an hour or less, depending on how fast you figure out every single puzzle. It's an indie game, a little team that made it, and definitely a very good puzzle game. So I don't know if they made any more. I recommend you find them, see if they have made any more, because that little puzzle game was a blast. Next on the list was... Pride Fighting Championships. Um, I love Pride Fighting Championships. It was one of my good ones that I always go to. It was Bellator, this one. And I have played this game, but I never went through a tournament. I would just play like a little exhibition match and call it a day. But you know what? I decided I have not played through... Technically, it's a story, I guess, or career mode for them. And I wanted to see if I could beat the whole tournament. And you forget about how fun the, re the entrances were back in the day. They would get onto a platform and they would have their music play. Like, you can't stream this one because copyright music, but such a good game. I recommend this for sure. If you have not tried this game out, definitely. It's a 10 out of 10. <laughs> it's a good fighter. A little wonky on the, like, animation of the arms because the, the elbows go a little weird way. But, yeah, I like how they use the submissions. I liked how they use everything. Definitely worth your time. The ground game is good, so... Take this one over, like, UFC 1 remake or whatever, like, I don't know. They keep changing it to where it's just like, Hitman, UFC, like, we have two or three games called the same thing. But definitely get this one, the training is fun, it's worth your time. I was in a fighter again, and the next one is Hardcore ECW Revolution. I did not play this game at all, and I know a couple people in the community have really big, like, wrestling game collection, and this one was recommended by a couple people in the community, and they're like, definitely try this out. So, I found it on my emulator, it worked, thankfully, and the ROM played beautifully. Um, I played as, I believe it was Raven, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, um, but I think it was Raven. And so, basically, you, uh, just wrestle. Like any wrestling game, you have a career mode or you have like a build your fighter. And so I just picked one of the red actual fighters that are already on the ECW roster. And then I just like went through it. Um, I don't know if it's endless after you keep getting your belt. So I defended my belt a couple times and I was like, I believe I won. Because <laughs> I didn't see like an end animation or like a, a credits. So I played, got my belt, defended it a couple times. And I'm like, hmm. I'm, I'm kind of getting bored, but it's a good, definitely good wrestling game to recommend to anybody. And as for the Game Boy Color, gotta, gotta try it out if you have a Game Boy Color for sure. Then I was in a beat up, beat em up mode again. So I went to the Game Boy Advance and I got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This one is a fun game. It's basically, so you get each t turtle and you play it and you have to beat their act. I'm not sure like what it is, but you get so many stages for each turtle 
And um, when you play Mikey, you'll have a different scenario than like say Donatello or Leonardo. You basically have to do all of them. My favorite was Raph, yeah, Raphael. He got uh, Casey Jones in his and he had a race. The race was weird. You basically had to like hit every single speed point to be able to beat Casey, but definitely a good game. I recommend it for anybody who has this game or anybody who has a Game Boy Advance, definitely find it, try it out. Um, I did see Casual Gamer 84 play this one before, so I kind of got the gist of what the game was about, but yeah. Try it out. Many in the community has beaten it, but I had fun time with it. And I enjoyed it. I was in the indie fix and I decided to go check out what was on the indie roster for Steam uh, on PC. And the next game is called Left on Red. This is a interesting game. Basically, you are communicating with somebody else and it's around the year 2020 because I know the game came out in 2020. So you are talking to somebody and you're trying to keep that person's hopes up your hopes up that we will go back to normal or whatever normal is now and just go to college, different things. And so you're playing around with um, trying to keep the person engaged and interested. So you are a little like square and you're hopping around on the messages and you're trying to make sure that you don't say anything insensitive or keep the person not wanting to like talk to you. And so what really intrigued me was like, what's going to happen? Like you kind of got into this mode of like, wow, I'm, I'm really invested in this conversation, even though it's not, it's a game, it's not real. You're like, oh, wow, this is, somebody really did their research on how to make the story engaging. Because you don't see the person at all, ever. You don't know who the person is, really. I mean, you kind of guess that that person is something you, somebody who you want to date. But other than that, you don't know other than, like, you don't even know their name. <laughs> You're like, you know it's a girl, but you don't know their name. Like, who is it? Who is this person? because I don't know if like it switches, but I don't recommend realistic mode. It really is realistic. So like if you text somebody and she doesn't text you back, it could be like hours before she texts you back. And it's like, yeah, I'm not gonna play realistic mode. I'm out. <laughs> Another indie fix was on the list. And this one is called, who is Mike? Basically you are a person, you are waking up from a weird dream or being knocked out and you are trying to like ask questions and figure it out and you're like who is this person who am i what's going on and so you see that there is a person who looks exactly like you when you wake up what's going on um am i dead am i an alien what's happening and then you find out that your girlfriend is walking in oh crap let's go what's happening and the girlfriend is basically saying to the something to the effect of like oh my gosh well, there's two of you uh, who's the real Mike? And then you have to say, it's me. And then the other one's like, no, it's me. And so then you have to like answer her questions, figure it out. It, are you like in a dream world or what's happening? And I picked the wrong ending. Like I picked a bad choice. So choices are key. So pay attention, <laughs> try to figure it out and get a good ending. And the next game on the list is called Up Until the End. This one is a visual novel and you are a young woman and you wake up and you're in a terrible fire and you're in the library and you're like, oh crap. So you're trying to escape the fire and then all of a sudden you see a group of men or two men and you get captured and now you have to escape them and try to get out and you see another group of people also being captured and so you save them and you try to get away. You meet along the road, a few other good people, and you're trying to figure out where to go. So your choices are key also because characters can die. I had it happen to me. One of my characters didn't make it. So definitely choose your, your path wisely and be careful because you can die as well. <laughs> I died from like a wolf bite or something like that. So yeah, it happens. Next is another little indie game. Um, this one I believe is like a point and click. It is You Will Not Remain, and this one is very cool. It's a pixelated, it's supposed to look like an old either Game Boy Color game or something like that to the effect, or an old PC game. And you are a person who is stuck in an apartment complex and you're just going about your day, day to day. It's mundane, it's boring, but you're realizing that if you go outside, something bad or horrible is going to happen to you. And you keep hearing the radio play and the radio says, do not let them in. If you let them in, they will kill you. And you kind of assume that it is 
people outside, other people you know, they are turned into something that you don't recognize? Or are you hallucinating and it's all in your imagination, all in your dreams, because you keep having nightmares and you don't know what is real or not real anymore because you think you're losing your mind as well. So you have to figure out everything. Should I go outside? You have to make the choice. It's a very short game, uh, about an hour. So make your choice and choose wisely because you don't know what's outside. And the very last game of the games that I beat for this month was Ballads at Midnight. This is a game where you are a bard, a woman, and you have committed a horrible crime and the crown has thrown you into solitary where you're going to be eaten by a vampire. I'm not making this up. <laughs> it's literally the story. And so you have to try to get away from the vampire and choices, your path you make. It could lead to you dying, you don't know. So figure out what you need to do. Maybe persuade the vampire to let you go. Your choices are key and hopefully you make it. Sing him a nice lullaby. And that is it everybody, I beat dun, 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 13 games. So I am at my total of 108 games for the year so far. Let me know in the comments below, how many games did you beat? How many are you going for? or what's your highlights so far of the year. And I'll catch you next time, everybody. Bye, everybody. Keep on gaming. Give it a like. Subscribe. All that stuff that YouTubers say. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Catch you next month. Linda the Gamer Gal. She's here, she's playing games. Linda the Gamer Gal. She's here, she's playing games today.